the best boroscopes or inspection cameras, have become a must-have accessories for electrician and DIYers who need to see the pipe work under a floorboard, or to inspect a wall cavity to see if there was a fire block that was impeding his wiring run. In this video we have selected the best inspection cameras that have an HD inspection camera, with wide view, a flexible waterproof high quality cable, with a long battery life, and a clear screen view. Without further ado, let's get started. What? I need to wait until next week for repairing?
my name is Hector and today we'll be giving a how-to video as to how to use the amp piping and system um, sewage system. So in front of us, uh, we just open it up right here and you will have the sun visor pop out. This is uh, very good when you're using it outside because it just reflects the sun. Uh, so next thing we do is take out the protective casing and inside the system we have the actual cable itself. Um, this is a 30 meter cable and it has the camera at the very end. And this camera here is very flexible. Uh, it allows you to get the full 180. It also comes with a soft casing right here uh, to be able to ease through the piping. And in the very end you have some LED lights. Uh, you also have a hook right here and this allows you to easily be able to control the cable when you're extending it. Um, you also have the, the manual in the casing. You have the battery charger. You have the remote right here. Uh, this remote will allow you to be able to control the LCD. You have two spare keys and this allows you to be able to lock the system in both hinges. You also get provided a hard casing, so you either have the soft one or the hard one. And lastly, you have the male cables. This will allow you to connect. Uh, your cable to the power system right here. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's take off the band and the bigger end right here you will connect that onto right here. You have a little indication, a little nod right there. Uh, you want to match that with the nod right here. Uh, so let's connect them like this. And once it's put in properly you will put in the washer just like that uh, now you have secured in this section you will put the other component into the actual power system so let's see uh, this is the power system right here just go ahead and connect it uh, and on this one right here you also have the indication and you will match that with this one right here uh, so it's just like that Uh, you want to secure it with the washer. So now you have properly connected the cable to the power system. You also have this component right here and this will allow you to connect it to the LED. And you also have the indication as well. You want to secure it with the washer once again. And you have almost completed it. The last section is going to be this part right here, and this is the battery. Uh, you just go ahead and place it right here. Place this back. You should have the camera, just like this. And as you can tell, you have the LEDs on the end. To be able to control the brightness of the LED, you would want to change it right here um, in the system. You have the LED, you go ahead and press that and then you just press the up and down to control the brightness. Okay. Uh, and this is very good when you're trying to pass this down a piping. And like I mentioned before, this has that full flexibility. Uh, so it can get into any 90 uh, pivot on the piping. Um, so this is... So starting at the end here, uh, it'll make the first bend. Feed along, and it'll hit the second bend. And the first here, this will get ready to
Uh, just a quick overview of the system. I hope that it was very beneficial and that it has given you an insight as to how to use the piping system.